ambacho tumefanya katika hizo sheria ni kurudisha afya mashinani. Kupitia hawa watu tunaita community health promoters. Kule Nairobi tulizindua, tukaenda Kericho pia tukazindua, tukapeana kits za community health promoters. And I'm glad waziri ameniambia amepeane chache, zimebaki kadha, nitakusaidia uhakisha tumepatia CHP wote their kits. Pia tuliwaahidi kupata simu mpya, smartphone ili tukaweze kuwa ile mambo wanaandikisha wananchi tunaipata directly kwenye headquarters na hizo simu pia tumepeana zimefika hapa Bungoma. So ni county government muweke bidi nitawasaidia pale nitaweza tuhakikisha kwamba kila CHP ako na kit, ako na smartphone. Na nikiwa njiani nikija hapa nimeuliza PS wangu kama stipend yao iko tayari na ameniambia leo ndio imehit account we have 1 billion shillings for the CHPs. So hii wiki tutaanza kualipa stipendi yao kila mwezi for the next three years. So nataka kwa shukuru sana. Lakini pia wakenya wajue katika hizi sheria mpya ambazo mtu wana nichelewesha kufanya wakenya kazi, kuna hile tunaita critical illness emergency fund. Hii ni kusema ya kwamba mtu yoyote ukipatikana uko na ugonjo wa muda mrefu, chronic, uko na diabetes, uko na hypertension. Hii fund ina kikin kuanza kukushughulikia wewe matibabu. Sasa Kenya mtu akipatikana akona kanza, familia inaanza kufanya mpango ya kuuza shamba ama kuuza ile ngombe moja wako nayo ama mbuzi ndio washughulikie matibabu. But now we have that fund. Kenyans are going to access healthcare for critical illness through that fund. So wewe ukigonjeka upatikana umepatikana na kansa, details zako zinachukuliwa, serikali na take care of you. And Kenyans you know that NHIF has had issues. Kule NHIF nimekuwa na shida mingi. Hata saa hii kazi ile nafanya ni ya goalkeeping. Wakikisha ninashika mpira zote. Hakuna mtu ana score huko NHIF kwa kuiba pesa ya wananchi. So because of that that we have had a lot of fraud from hospitals. Zile zina claim duni, hmm? Kuna hospitali moja mtu amekatwa mguu ya left mara tatu. So unashindwa huyu binadamu akikatwa tena huwa ina mea anarudi ama namna gani? Lakini ni ukora mtupu kuna hospitali za private huku nje ambazo ndio zimevuja pesa kutoka NHIF. But I want to confirm that from the records I have seen Lugul Hospital is not one of those fraudulent ones. And that means that whatever claims they put in are genuine claims. Katika wizara ya afya sisi tumeendelea na mipango zetu. Unajua kuna zile sheria nne ambazo tulipitiza. Na hizo sheria tulipitisha ili tuhudumie mwananchi wa chini kabisa. Kuna watu wameenda kotini wametuchelewesha. Na sijui kama wananchi wanajua unajua kwenda kwao kotini tulikuwa tumesema NHIF tutoa 500 ikuje 300. Sasa wame delay. But najua hii January koti ikiclear hiyo maneno tutaweza sasa kuambia wananchi wale walikuwa wanalipa pesa ya chini ya 500 shillings waanze kulipa 300 shillings for NHIF. Na katika hizo sheria pia kuna mpangilio ya wale ambao hawataweza kulipa wale hawana mapato ya aina yoyote serikali itawalipia wale wanaitwa indigents. Serikali itawalipia at 100%. Wale pia kwenye jamii ambao wanaishi na ulemavu wa aina yoyote na hawana mapato pia serikali itaweza kulipia katika huu mfumo mpya. So mimi nataka muniombe na muombe rais, muombe pila judges ambao wanasikiliza hiyo kesi waitupilie mbali mimi nianze kufanyia wa Kenya kazi. Hii ni mwaka ya matendo. Last year we laid our foundation as a ministry this year we are running with implementation.